Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Well, here it is another Wednesday, and today we have for you the topic no one needs to be saved by religion. Yes, I know you guys don't need to hear this. You already know that you don't need to be saved by religion. Most of you, most of my listeners are much more sensible than that. They know instinctively, intuitively that they don't need to be saved by religion, but it bears repeating you don't need to be saved by religion. Now, this is something that uh, Christians talk about quite often. They say, are you saved? Are you saved? Are you saved? And they talk about it quite frequently, and they, they always are asking, are you saved? They might as well be asking, are you a star-bellied snitch? Do you have a star on your belly? Or they could be the in crowd asking you, are you in with the in crowd? Are you in? Are you in? You know, it's the same thing. Are you saved means are you a Christian? And uh, we can do without that. We don't need to be saved by religion. The only thing you need is the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Now I have a statement to make. No one needs to be saved by religion. Rather, they need to learn the truth. One of those truths is the truth about goddess. If they can't accept goddess, they go on to future lives on earth. And I just want to add to this by saying you have as many lives as you need to figure it out okay you get as many lives as you need to figure out what you believe in and there's no limit so you can have endless lives to figure out what you believe in and to uh, and to learn about goddess and to understand goddess and to trust goddess so it's really important that they accept the truth then they can move on to paradise and so once you've figured out about goddess and decide that you believe in goddess you can move on to paradise and that's the the final end of your journeys you don't have to make any more journeys to earth or make more uh, more lives on earth you can move on to paradise and be at peace and that's your journey that's your special journey it's not anyone else's journey it's not anyone else's path it's your path it's your journey through different lives to come to goddess and you get as many lives as you need to figure it out. You don't have to worry. You'll get all those lives, all those lives that you want. As many lives as you want, you get. As many lives on earth as you want, you get. But once you've decided that you're done with all of these lives and decide you want to come to Goddess, then you get to move on to Paradise, and it's beautiful. Paradise is beautiful. You'll love it there. So... As many lives as you want, you get. You can have endless lives. You can have as many lives as you want. Obviously, you won't be able to have more lives on Earth once the Earth is destroyed by the sun. But uh, you get a lot of lives. You get a lot of lives before that happens. So, everybody gets a chance to come to Goddess. And you get as many lives as you need to make your decision and you can decide when when and where you want to go to paradise if at all if you want to go to paradise you don't have to go to paradise if you don't want to you can come back to earth if you like earth is not the most pleasant place 
paradise is more pleasant, but you still get to choose. You get to choose Earth if you prefer Earth. So as many lives as you need, as many lives as you want to make your decision about goddess and to come to goddess. So everybody gets a choice. Everybody gets a chance. And it's, it's good because because everybody is different and no, no two people are exactly alike. Everybody's different. So everybody follows a different path to goddess and everybody follows a different path to paradise. Everybody decides when and where they want to go and whether they want to go to a life on earth at all. Some souls have chosen not to go to earth and that's okay. They stay in a state of limbo because that's what they prefer. They prefer being in a state of limbo or being like ghosts rather than going to a life on earth. And that's okay too. They can decide to be in limbo and decide to be ghosts and decide not to go on to a new life. That's their choice. So everybody gets a choice and everybody gets a chance. And that's really important because we want people to know that they always get a choice and they always get a chance that they can choose whether they or not they want to be in paradise or not, that they can choose more lives on earth, that that's what they want. And uh, the only time you don't get to choose is when you've done a lot of bad things, like uh, mass murders, something like that. Then you don't get to choose where you go. Then you go to hell. But that's a different story. That's for another time. And you you don't get to choose where you or you serve hell to serve like a spiritual prison for people who are incorrigible and can't be helped and can't be reached so there's a lot of different ways you can go and you have a lot of different choices and you have different chances you have a you have a chance to decide where what you want to do with your life and where where you want to go after you die so that's good that there's choices open to you. But nobody needs to be saved by religion. No one. Because religion isn't there to save people or to save them from themselves. You have to face yourself. That's true belief. That's true religion is to face yourself and to learn the truth. That is true religion is to, to be educated and to learn the truth. I'm Sarah Jane Alpha Wolf signing off. Remember next week, next week is the beginning of purification. So prepare yourselves. All vegan diets, stock the refrigerator with fruits and veggies. And I'll see you next time.